Okay, now that was a lot of information packed into a very short amount of time. And I understand if the introduction was maybe a little bit basic, but I don't want you to miss the uh, importance of that information. Uh, because knowing who is making the market and understanding a little bit more about what those people are looking to do is a very useful exercise. Because too often we simply look at the market as if it were completely contained inside of the chart that's on our screen. And I can assure you that nothing is further from the truth. The market is traded by real people that have real emotions and in some cases real emotional problems. So if we want to understand the markets, we have to at least at some level understand people and how they work. So don't just blow off the introductory comments or even blow off the elements that I gave you about professional traders. Really think about this stuff and apply it to your trading. Now, I also want to give you a little bit of a recap. Now, first of all, we look for high volume on the turns in the marketplace. Now remember, this is not predictive volume. It doesn't mean that we'll be able to somehow see what's going to happen next or even guarantee that one thing is going to happen over another. For example, just to simply look at this one bar with its extreme volume that it closes up isn't enough to say that the market is going to continue to go higher. How much higher? How do we know that the market is going to move up at all? How do we know that as this down bar is forming that we're not just getting caught up in what I call the pro move? Well, I'm going to get to some different ways to tell that in the future. So what is important is that we keep everything into perspective. First of all, we, if we see a high or extreme volume reading, that should simply give us a clue that the professional money is active in the market. And then we should simply use our logic and deductive reasoning to try and get to the bottom of what they're doing. For example, if the professional money were selling on this one extreme bar, wouldn't it make sense then that the market would follow through to the downside? But it doesn't, does it? You can see that after one hour of prices relaxing, that the market simply continues to move up. Now, these types of whipsaw moves are very common, especially after you see a wide range bar and extreme volume. And I'll cover exactly how to trade these types of whipsaw moves in the right direction. Believe me, you're going to be blown away when you see this. That's going to be coming up in a later section. So, understand that just because we see an extreme reading on one end of the spectrum or the other, an extreme high or extreme low, we cannot directly come up with an answer. We've always got to confirm that. And we'll do that with candlesticks as well as different price formations. And I'll go over those in the next session.